2021 brought ice, snow, heat, and everything in between. Today we're talking about Oregon's extreme weather over the past year. This February had many people without heat, power, and a sense of security for many days. It was one of the most intense storms Westland has ever faced. Let's take a look back at some of the damage this storm left us with. This is the biggest ice storm we've seen in 50 years, and hundreds of thousands of people are without power tonight. The latest numbers from PGE showing 288,000 without electricity. This has got to be the most wildest scene I've seen in any neighborhood so far during this snow and ice storm. This is West Lynn, where neighbors tell me at one point they had about an inch thick of ice on these trees that came crashing down. They've also been without power since late last week. Their warning, it could be as much as 10 days before everybody is back online. Crews from Nevada and Montana are even here helping out. Pacific Power also has around 35,000 customers without power. And Clark County PUD reports more than 6,000 outages. The heavy ice has been bringing down trees, causing lots of damage and several outages. Besides this crazy ice storm, Oregon also experienced record-breaking heat. We hit over 105 degrees for three days in a row, which has never happened before in recorded history. This heat was so bad that it pushed us into another state of emergency. Dealing with this weather amidst the pandemic was definitely an incredible challenge, and many are still facing the repercussions of these extreme weather events today. Reporting for WLHS Now, I'm Kylie Zeman.
2021 has brought a lot of challenges to our school with COVID outbreaks, crazy weather, and bus delays. I'm here to circle back to one big event that is still in action, the redesign of the stadium. The fear over this long lasting project is the concern that it could take a toll on future sports events. Now, this project has taken a while, but it will definitely be worth it. My classmate, Louis Frazier, had, did a story on it in our October breakdown of 2021. The main problems that the construction crew is having is the steep hills and the bedrock below the surface. As many know, the completion date has not been disclosed as the original date was supposed to be in September of last year. With spring sports coming up, many athletes are hoping to play on their home field. This being said, the construction is still impacting traffic and delays throughout each day. For more information on this continuous project, you can visit WLHSnow.com. Reporting for WLHS Now, I'm Luke Ebert. This year, our sports teams crushed it. Our biggest highlight of the year being the girls volleyball team, first ever state championship, sweeping Jesuit 3-0 in the finals to take their trophy home on November 7th. Our boys soccer team finished second in state and won the Three Rivers League. They had an outstanding season and going far into the playoffs like our football team. Our football team made it all the way to the finals in an 11, with an 11-2 season record. Our basketball team traveled this year and was successful in their tournaments. Overall, a super great year for the Lions Athletics. Reporting for WHS Now, I'm Meg Duvall. COVID-19 has affected many aspects of juniors and seniors getting into college. For people who did take the SATs, many exam sites were closed due to COVID issues. Because of this, many students had to travel long distances to get to their exam sites. At the beginning of the pandemic, people were reluctant to go to college due to the risk of COVID. But in 2021, there was a 22% increase in applicants. Many students who chose not to go to college in 2020 applied in 2021 along with everyone else. With a college future uncertain, many of the rules to admission no longer apply. Reporting for WLHS Now, this is Lily Frazier.